All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be the biggest mistake that new shooters make. Here we go. All right, so we've got this target right here. Uh, you can print this in your office, in your home. Uh, it's an eight inch circle on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. This is really for zeroing your target. Google printable targets online and find a target that you like. You can get these from, this specific one is Travis Haley, although it's kind of a pain to find now. I've been using it for many, many years. I have many copies of it, so I just keep making copies of that. But you can go on to free targets, free shootable targets, just Google some of that and you should be able to find something like this. So here we go. Here's the biggest mistake that people make. Okay, so people will go to an indoor range when they're new and I'm a left-handed shooter, okay? But here's what people will do. They'll grab the gun with their non-dominant hand. They'll grab the magazine with their dominant hand. And then they'll be kind of trying to enter it in wrong. Well, you enter it in this way, right? So they, they kind of enter it in. They maybe push. And then they're kind of looking. And then they're like, okay, so that's loaded, right? And they're holding it like this. Okay, well, that's wrong. You want to hold it as high and tight as you possibly can. And then they'll maybe hold it like this. They'll hold it like this. And they'll lean back. And they'll maybe, you know, take a shot. And then they'll look. And then they'll take another shot. Okay. And they, they maybe come back. All right. So let's look at the target. They'll hit something like this. That's, that's a pretty big spacing right there. Again, this is an eight inch circle. And uh, let's see, it's about six and a half inches from here to here. And that's about three and a half inches from here to here. And so though people will keep going to the range. People will keep going to the range. Right, once, twice, maybe three times. And that's about what their target is like, what their shots are like. And then they think they know how to shoot. That's your biggest mistake, is you go to the range two or three times and you hit something that badly, or it looks more like this. Right, and you're like, well, I hit the paper. I, I should be good to go. I now know how to shoot. And so your biggest mistake is thinking that because you can do that in a nice, calm, cool environment, you know how to shoot. And I'm sorry to tell you, but you don't know shit, okay? You need to practice and you need to be shooting multiple times a month. This is not a sport or an activity that you get into. You practice once or twice, you shoot maybe a hundred rounds a year and you're good to go. Most of you bought a gun because you're scared that someone's gonna break into your house. So take a second, really think about what you're going to feel when you're that scared. Your body's gonna dump a whole bunch of adrenaline, cortisol, your heart rate is gonna be basically to its maximum predicted heart rate. You're going to have trouble breathing. You're gonna be, you're gonna be breathing in heavy, okay? You're not gonna be this bad. You're gonna be worse, okay? There's a saying that I heard not too long ago, and I don't know who said it, I don't know where it comes from, I tried Googling it, but uh, the saying is, you will never rise to the level of your expectations, but you will fall to the level of your training. If all you do is go to the range two or three times and you think that that's good enough, you're wrong. And you're gonna be a huge liability to yourself, to your family, to your neighbors, if you ever have to use your gun, in a self-defense situation because that is not what your target is going to look like when you're scared out of your mind, okay? So you should go to the range and practice, practice, practice. Take classes, look at these videos, look at other videos and get good, okay? Even if you can start doing this, Even if you can start doing this at a range, 
and even faster than what I just shot it, that doesn't make you a good shooter because my heart rate isn't up, okay? I'm not breathing heavily. I'm not scared of bullets coming my way. So if you really wanna get good, you need to first get to that point where you can shoot that good from a lot further distance than what I just did, which was about four yards. You need to do maybe some burpees. You need to bring some sandbags with you. You need to run as fast as you can. You need to get your heart rate up. You need to start breathing heavily and then come out and hold yourself to a higher standard. All right, so that's the biggest mistake that people or new shooters make. Hopefully this was helpful. I mean the best guys, because look, at the end of the day, you are responsible for every single round that comes out of your gun. You unloading your magazine, shooting 10, 15 rounds at a bad guy, hitting him five times, and the other 10 rounds just going off into the distance, if you hit innocent people, you are going to jail for that. You are liable. Hell, you are liable for any rounds that hit your target, but go beyond your target and hit other people. So you also need to know what your ammo does. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed that video or it was informative. You learned from it and please consider subscribing, hitting that like button. It helps out the channel more than you know.